Oh, Anton Zeiger? Yes, the name of his speech is I Want to Hold Your Hand. Woo! Oh, yeah, I'll tell you something. With my friends, strangers that I meet halfway around the world, and these days with people that I meet online. Here's what I've learned about community building from all those handshakes. It starts at home with your youngest ones. From our earliest days, we're reaching out for a hand to hold. It's an awesome, awesome responsibility. My wife and I have two daughters and a son. We're always looking for ways to teach them how to hold hands at the dinner table, reading books at night, um, um, and caring for each other, uh, teaching each other. It's great when they model our behaviors and learn how to lead, how to follow, how to work together, how to build things together. I learned a lot. They also uh, have learned that to get my attention away from my iPhone, they need to use their hands. Dad, Dad, Dad! It worked, huh? I learned a lot of these things from my father. He was a Peace Corps volunteer in the Dominican Republic in the 1960s. He worked with a community to build a, a road, a, water, a waterworks, and a school for these children. I got the chance to go back to Santiago de la Cruz 40 years later to see that school with him. Everywhere we went, people would come up and shake his hand and say, gracias, Jose. Thank you for all the work that you did on our behalf to build a school for our children, our grandchildren. My father's there now in the Dominican Republic. It's the 50th anniversary of the Peace Corps. They're having a celebration. When I was a kid, my father was always shaking my hand, always hugging me, always telling me that he loved me. On Friday nights when I was getting ready for, uh, Friday nights in high school, I was getting ready for a date, he would uh, often come up and give me the old Zucker handshake, passing me a $20 bill to really make the night special. In college, I fell in love with Aaron. We were always holding hands, always kissing, always hugging. We eventually got married, joined the Peace Corps together. The Peace Corps sent us to romantic South Pacific, Republic of Vanuatu, where PDA between public man and wife uh, is not allowed. I was a teacher. I taught the kids about America. Our games, they taught me about Nivanawatu culture, raising a pig, climbing a coconut tree. Everywhere we went, people would come up to us and greet us in Bishlama, and with a really customary handshake, just down up, down up once. Anton, you go where? Uh, Mustaf, go long store now. Ale, you go long store. Me go long saltwater, long swim. We shook hands with a lot of people. Here's Chief Louie in our village. We traveled to other islands. We shook hands with other chiefs. Here's a chief uh, uh, with arms adorned with val very valuable pig tusks. The other part of him is adorned with a nambas, a penis sheath. That I did not shake. <laughs> but in Vanuatu, there was a culture where, where men did hold hands. My host brother and I would often walk hand in hand on the way to, to go fishing together. It was very common. When my real brother came to visit, we hiked to the top of a mountain, looked down into a, a, a volcano, and I did hold his hand, too. Then it was time for us to leave after two years. Our Peace Corps experience was over. So every student in our school lined up to wish us a farewell. A lot of students that day, we shook a lot of hands. Down up, down up, down up, down up. A lot of tears from us. A lot of very simple, look em you. See you later. Then Peace Corps was over, Y2K. I'm back in the States. I'm connected to the web again. I become a blogger. I move to North Carolina. I meet, meet many of you here in the room. We form blog together, an opportunity to make online connections and come, in, come together for face-to-face -face, uh, meetings, a lot like Ignite Raleigh, where we get together, share beer, share stories, learn together, teach a skill. Through that, I, I meet a, a new best friend, Bora Z, at Bora Z. Bor <laughs> Bora and I collaborate uh, on science online. For six years now, we, we reach out to scientists, educators, students, journalists, librarians, and anyone who cares about science and public understanding of science to come together for an offline event, an unconference here in Raleigh every January. People who know each other online come together, they hug, they shake hands, they have conversations, they listen to each other, they share with each other, they teach each other. Science Online is also it has a very common theme in that, again, everybody can pay attention, everyone uh, listens. After our conference, everyone scatters to their communities, and the com conversation happens online again. There's a Science Online London. Tonight in New York City, Science Online New York City is meeting. Someday, Science Online will be in the West Coast. 
as people are, 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 are scattering, our tentacles for our community continue to bring new people in, and that conversation continues. more slides. So uh, if you have an idea, please grab a friend, jump in, and, and do this together. Build community. Peace Corps 50 years ago was just an idea. It ignited. I hope you'll start with your family. Go home, shake a, uh, kiss a spouse, cradle a, a, a child, call up your mother and father or brother and tell them that you love them. And actually, let's start right now. We're all in a community. The people right next to us are the place to start. Turn to someone, shake their hand, and say, I, I want to shake your hand. Thank you. Dude, last speaker. Last speaker, let it play. <laughs>